Hi all, this is Sampath. In the today video tutorial, I am going to show Precu2 pay cycle. This is the part 2 video. Part 1 video I added in the video description. Okay, let's get start. First enter the transaction code ME41. Press enter key. RFQ type long page and RFQ date system takes by default. Now enter the quotation deadline. So here, what is the difference between the delivery date and quotation deadline? Quotation deadline, vendor need to give quotation before that date. Delivery date is, that is the final date to deliver required material. Okay. Now enter the quotation deadline. Quotation deadline, I'm going to enter 12th of April. Okay. Now enter the purchase organization and purchase group. Now press enter key. Here enter the collective number. Collective number field is the free text field. Now I am going to enter some number. So why we need to enter the collective number? Collective number collectively holds the some multiple quotations in single number. Okay, this is we need to enter in header, in RFQ header. Okay, I am going to enter collective number. Okay, now press enter key. Now enter the material. This is my material. Enter quantity. Quantity I'm going to enter some 10 quantity. Delivery date I'm going to enter 17th of April. Okay. Now enter the plant. Press enter key. Yes. Okay. Now click on the vendor address. This is the vendor address button. Click on the vendor address button. Add your vendor. I'm going to add 1000 vendor. Press enter key. Okay. Now click on save button. Yes. First RFQ is now created. I just I'm going to copy this number. Close this. Okay. Now enter the second vendor. This is my second vendor. Save it. Copy the quotation number. I'm going to enter third vendor. Save it. Just copy this number. Now come back. To come back, just enter slash n, press enter key. Now enter the transaction code ME47. Here we are going to maintain the quotations. Here we are need to enter the prices of different vendors. Okay. Just remove it. Select first quotation. Press enter key. Enter the price. In net price field, I'm going to enter 100 euro. Press enter key. Now save it. Now enter the second RFQ here I'm going to enter 104 press enter key save it now enter the price of third vendor save it Okay, now we maintain the net price for all the three quotations. In the next step, I will show price comparison. We can compare the prices of different vendor in the transaction code ME47. 
फोर्टी नाइन प्रेस एंटर की हियर जस्ट एंटर द कलेक्टिव नंबर माई कलेक्टिव नंबर इज जीरो नाइन जीरो फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रेस एंटर की नाउ क्लिक ऑन एग्जीक्यूट बटन यस सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिकली सेलेक्टेड द थाउजेंड वेंडर बेस्ड ऑन द प्राइस ओके नाउ प्रिंट द रिजेक्शन लेटर्स जस्ट डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस कोटेशन नंबर सेलेक्ट द रिजेक्शन चेक बॉक्स नाउ क्लिक ऑन सेव रिपीट द सेम फॉर नेक्स्ट कोटेशन सेलेक्ट द चेक बॉक्स क्लिक ऑन सेव ओके इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो I will show how to create purchase order, goods receipt, and invoice receipt. That's it today video tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.